Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin Wa ala alihi wa sahabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in Amma ba'd fa'awzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahi rahman rahim Rabbish rahli sadri Wa yasir li amri Wa ahlu luktatam min lisani yafqahu qawli Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in insha'ala May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brother and sister, we'll do exercise number four on page 63. Inshallah. Istakhrij. Now what is this istakhrij? Form 10. It is form 10. What is it? Is it Madi, Mudariya, Amar, Brother Abdul Samad? It's Amar. Istakharaja. Yastakhariju. Istakharij. Take out. Mimma yati. In what follows. Asma wa zamani wal makani. Wazkur and mention. Wazkur. Wazna. Kulli wahidin minha. You got to mention the pattern. Huh, brother? Well, fail al tukka minhu. And the word from which it was derived. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Okay. Number one, brother. Yukalu. What is yukalu? It is said. Huh? What is the meaning of yukalu? It is said. Huh? Kila. It was said. Yukalu. It is said. Who are many? Be maran, wa masmain. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Be harjar, but maran will remain maran. And then wa masmain. Okay. 
I, that is to say, Bihaythu Arahu, I see him, Wa Asma'u, and I hear, what do I hear? Kalamahu, here's his speech. Follow, brothers and sisters? Fine, brothers and sisters. Arahu, who is Mafulun Bihi? Kalama, is your Mafulun Bihi? Wa huwa Mudaf, and Mudafilehi. What is the meaning, brothers and sisters? What is the meaning? Huwa huh? minni means I am so close to him. Bi hmm? mar'an means I can see him. Wa ma'in that I can hear him. Huh? That is the meaning of it. I am in a position to see him and also hear his speech. Huh? I behaithu where, haithu means where, I see him and I hear his speech. In other words, I'm so close to him. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, what is mar'an? Huh? What is mar'an? Sister Mayanas? It is mumakan. Huh? mean a place eh, where something is seen, you know. Okay, very good. Eh? What is the verb? Ra'a. Ra'a. Ra huh? huh? Ra'a. Fine, brothers and sisters. Uh, Sister Mayanas, what is the wazan? Mafa'alun. Ma huh? That is important. Mafa'alun. Huh? Okay. Well, masma'in, sister, brother Hassan. Masma'in. Ismu makan again. What is the wazan, brother? Wasn't maf'alun. Huh? Maf'alun. Huh? And then, uh, what is the verb? Samia. Yes, ma'u. Huh? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now, as you can see on the board, I have highlighted meme with fatah. Now, there is a reason for it, which will become obvious when we go to the next lesson. Huh? Okay. Call ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Inna mawa'idahum subh. Do you have kum? Yes. I have here hum. Are you sure you want to check the uh, Quran? I did. You did? I did. Okay. Fine. Inna mawa'idahum Inna ma'ida kumus subhu. Alay sat subhu. Bikaribin. Truly, your appointed time is morning. And isn't morning close by? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? No, this is the uh, thing about uh, Prophet Lut. You know, it is from a story of. Prophet Lut, Prophet Lut, alayhi salam. Now, brothers and sisters, Inna has come. Where is this more Inna? Ma'ida. And who mudaf and mudafili. And what is a subh? Khabar Inna. Alaysa, what is a? Harfu istifam. Laysa has come, brother. Fairin, Madin, Nakisun, and Jamit. Eh? Nakis and Jamit. Eh? Okay. And brothers and sisters, Brother Hassan, I need Ism Laysa. Asubho. Ism Laysa has to be Marfu. Eh? And Brother Abdul Samad, where is Khabar Laysa? Be Karibin. Eh? Jar Majun. Huh? Shibu Jumla Khabar. Huh? Okay. And we will say, Fi Mahalli Nasbin. Are you with me? Huh? Because Khabar of Laysa is always Mansur. Huh? We'll keep that in mind. Huh? Waqala and Allah said, Lakad kana li sabain. Lakad kana li sabain. Sabain. But the sabain is a kingdom in Yemen. What is it? Kingdom in Yemen. Fi maskanihim. 
What is Maskani? Dwellings. What is Maskani? Dwellings. Okay. Ayatun. Ayatun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Lakat kana li sabain fi maskanihim ayatun. Okay, brother. Jannatani an yaminin wa shimalin. Look at this, brothers and sisters. What is of our interest here? Ismu makan. Ismu makan. From where? Sakana yaskunu maskanun. What is it? Maskanun on the version of Maf'alun. Huh? Inshallah. Okay. In the previous ayah, brother, Mawaida is your Ismu Zaman. Huh? The appointed time. Ismu Zaman. Huh? Okay? Fine. Waqala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Kad alima kullu unasin mashrabahum. Alima, where is the file of Alima? Where is the file of Alima? Kullu. Wahuwa mudaf and mudaf ilahi. Okay, brothers and sisters. What is of our interest here? Mash, mashraba, mafulun bihi. Mashraba. What is this mashraba? Ismu, makan. The place of drinking. Mashraba is the place of drinking. What is the word? Shariba, ya shariba. Okay. So it's not difficult, huh, brothers and sisters? Every tribe knew the place of their drinking. Huh? That is the translation. Waqala, alaysa fi jahannama maswan lil kafirina. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, again, laysa. There is the ismu laysa. Uh, Sister uh, Suhaina, where is this Mulaisa? Sister Manas? Maswan. Now what is it? Maswan. Huh? See, this noun is not our usual noun. Huh? Because it ends with Alif Maksura. Like Mustashfa, Fatah. Are you with me? Mustafa. So, it is sometimes uh, not very clear that it is marfu, or mansub, or majru. But we have to judge. Huh? And here, it is definitely marfu. Maswan is marfu. Huh? Ismu laysa marfuun wa alamatu rafihi dammatun mukaddara ala akhirihi. Okay, fine. Okay. So, brothers and sisters, Maswan is your Ismu Laysa and, uh, and it is Ismu Maka. Uh, tell me, brother and sister, what is the verb? Sava. Sava. Sava Yasvi. Sava Yasvi. Got the idea, brother and sisters? Sava Yasvi. What is the meaning of Sava Yasvi? To reside. To reside. Yeah? So what is the translation? Isn't Jayanama for the Kafirin a place of residence? Are you with me, brother and sister? So Mathman is your Ismu Makan. Yeah? Is it clear, brothers and sisters? What is the wazan? Maf'alun. Huh? The wazan is maf'alun. Hmm? Inshallah, you'll uh, find it easy. Do write it, brother. Make it an effort to write it on a separate sheet of paper. Make some columns. Ismu zaman, ismu makan, and then wazan. Then al fi'alul lazi ustukka minu. That will be one column. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So if you write like that, you become very strong. Brother. You will see that it's very easy and you are understanding it, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, brother, Waqala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ma lakum. 
brothers and sisters, write down under under ma lakum. What will you write down? Laisa lakum. What will you write down? Laisa lakum. What is the meaning of ma lakum? Laisa lakum. Huh? Okay. Ma lakum min maljain yaumaisin. Okay, brothers and sisters, again here. Min maljain. Min zaida. Are you with me? This is min zaida. So if you take ma as a ma al hijaziya, then malja'un will become your ismu ma al hijaziya. Got the idea? And then, brothers and sisters, we have min came to emphasize and it became majroor. But it is only majroor lafzan. Mahlan it is marfu. Mahlan it is marfu. Huh? Remember we uh, studied that in uh, lesson two? Min Zaida. Hal min jadid. What is the meaning of hal min jadid? No, hal min jadid. Do you have anything new? Okay. Aindaka. Jadidun, Shayun Jadidun, you can say. Huh? Or Hal Min Mazid, do you have something extra? So Min is extra. So here Min is also extra. Brother. And Lakum will be your Jar Majur, Shibu Jumla, Khabar, Ma Al Hijaziya, huh? Inshallah. And Abi Huraira, Radiallahu Anhu, An Rasulallah, Kala, Man kama min majlisihi, the one who stood up from his seat, hmm? okay, thumma raja ilayhi, and then he returned. He had to go to washroom or something, and then he returned, okay. For huwa ahakku bihi, he has the first, still the right on that seat. Nobody should occupy it. It is. If it was an emergency for him to leave for a few minutes and he came back, he has the right to his seat. Huh? Okay. Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters. Istakhraj mafid darsi. Well, we already did it, remember? You can go one more time to the main lesson and figure out Ismud Zamani and Ismud Makani. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? And again, Wazqur. Wazana kulli wahidin minha wa fi'l ladhi shtukka minhu So all these things you will make columns sir huh? Ismu zaman ismu makan and then wazan and then fi'l ladhi shtukka minhu So then anything that you saw of interest in the main lesson you will try to fit into it huh? inshallah the lesson ended, alhamdulillah. Now we come to the next lesson. Okay, but what is the next lesson? Formation of the noun of instrument. Very interesting lesson. Very simple, brother. In this, we got three patterns. How many patterns, but Three patterns. What is the pattern? Now, I put this in circle. Now, do you know the reason why I put it? If it starts with fata, then it is ismu uh, makan and ismu zaman. Then, if it is start with kasra, then ismu ala. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, even this little thing will make it easy for us to, inshallah, figure out. Okay. Now we again go to the exercise.
Brothers and sisters, page number 65, exercise number 2. We start from here. Kalimatu miftahin ma'khuzatun. Ma'khuzatun. What is the meaning of ma'khuzatun? Taken. What is ma'khuz? It's a maful. From where? Akhaza. Akhaza yakhuzu wa huwa akhizun. And then ma'khuzu. Okay? So because it is kalimatu, mu'annas, it became ma'khuz. Mahuzatun. It became Mahuzatun. Min master from the source. Fataha yaftahu. Lid dalalati. To indicate. For indication. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? For pointing out. Ala alatil fatihi. On the instrument of opening. Huh? But to summa, and it is called Ismul Alati. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? And it is called huh? Noun of Instrument. Huh? Ismul Alati, Ismun Masugun. It's a noun formed, Menal Fiel Thulati. Only three letters of our brothers and sisters. Lid Dalalati, to indicate. Alama waka al fialu biwasitatihi. Okay, brother. Waka means hadasa, to happen, to occur. Al fialu here means action, brother. Hmm? The action of the verb occurs by means of it. What is the meaning, brothers and sisters? The action of the verb occurs by means of it. Okay. Lismil alati salasatu awzanin. There are three patterns for the noun of the instrument. Eh? What are they, brothers and sisters? Mif alun, mif alun, and mif alatun. Nah. Miftahun. So, what is miftahun? Eh? We know key, but it is a noun. Huh? It's an it's an instrument, noun of uh, instrument. And what does it do? What the verb does? Fataha to open. So mifta does the job of opening. Are you with me, brother and sister? Okay. So these are the nouns, brother and sisters. The nouns of instrument. Okay. Very interesting lesson. Okay. Mubaradun. Knife sharpener. Write down knife sharpener. And miknasatun jadu broom. Inshallah, we are going to learn in detail all these things. Sug. What is sug here? Saga yasugu. Sug. Form. Amar. Min afali la atiyati. Asmal alati. Ala wazni. Mif'alun. Only we have to now worry about Mif'alun. So, brother, this is truly speaking, it's a nice uh, a baklava. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Inshallah. Fataha yaftahu Miftahun. So, you know, when you say Miftahun, what is Miftahun? Is it is a noun of instrument? Huh? Okay? Ismul ala. Huh? And what does Miftah do? It does the job of the verb to open. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Nashara yan shuru. What is the meaning of nashara? To saw. To, you know? What will be the small ala? Minshar. Huh? Minshar. Brothers and sisters, mean with a kasra. Are you with me? Huh? And ismu makan and ismu zaman mean was with fatah. Huh? Keep that in mind. That's the reason I circle that meme, you know. Okay. Harasa yahrusu. 
But the harasa is to cultivate, to till, to plow. Huh? And what will be the mehrasun? Huh? What is mehrasun? Plow. Plow. Huh? Fine, brother. Zalaja yazliju. What is zalaja? To bolt, to latch. Huh? Okay, brother. To lock, you can say. Hmm? Now, mizlajun is bolt, your latch. Huh? Or you can say kuflun, lock. Hmm? Something that you bolt or close. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters? Latch. Okay, fine. Kasa yakisu. What is the meaning of kasa? To measure. Huh? To measure. Huh? Kasa is to measure. So, what will be the instrument of measuring? Mikiyas. What will be it? Mikiyas. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Very good. Kala yakilu. Now, this is dry measure. What is it? Dry measure. Like, you know, you buy sugar, buy, buy, buy a, some pot, you know, or you buy dates, or you buy lentils, the, or rice, you know. Okay? So, that is, that is kala yakilu. Also measure, but dry measure. Okay, brothers and sisters? You can say, probably for dry goods, you know. We, we have seen mostly for dry goods, you know. Wazana yazinu. No, it is actually, let us do actual thing. Mif'alun. What will be mif'alun, brothers and sisters? This is very interesting. Huh? What is it? Miv. Vav and Kasra, they are not compatible. So now Vav has to change into? Yeah. yeah. See how it happens in the language, brother? It's, it's a very beautiful thing, brother. Mizan. Vav change into ya because there was a kasra before it eh? got the idea inshallah so again form min al atiyati from the following nouns asmaul alati ala wazni mif'alun okay brother barada yabrudu to sharpen the knife to sharpen the knife so, what is mebaradun? Knife sharpener. What is it? Knife sharpener. Inshallah, you will be able to do it and you will write it at home. Huh? Okay. Halaba yahlubu. To milk the cow. Halaba is to, to milk. Okay. So, what will be the instrument of milking? Mehalabu. Huh? Sister uh, Madina. The wazan is mif'alun. Huh? Previously we did mif'alun. Now we are doing mif'alun. If you have highlighter, highlight. Brothers and sisters, highlight mif'alun. Does it say? Yes. yes. Huh? yes. When it says mif'alun, highlight it. You know? So that we are now doing on that pattern. No, sister, it is halaba. Halaba. So what will be? Meh. Meh labun. Meh labun. Are you with me? Meh labun. Now, brother, saida to ascend, to climb. Huh? Yes, adu. So what do you call elevator in Arabic? Mis'ad, an instrument that takes you up. Huh? Elevator. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Isn't it interesting? Huh? Alhamdulillah. Kabada yakbidu to catch. Mikbadun. Brother, mikbadun means handle or knob. 
that you catch. Huh? Or hand grip. Are you with me? Mikbadun is the handle or the knob or hand grip. Kada yakudu. Mikvadun. What is it? Mikvadun. What is Mikvadun? Steering wheel. Kada is to steer. So Mikvadun is steering wheel of a car or it can be a handlebar of a bicycle. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Kassa Ya kussu. Now this is our mudaf. Huh? What is the meaning of kassa? To cut. So, how do you f- form a noun? Mikassun. What will you say? Mikassun. What is the meaning of mikassun? Scissor. Huh? You cut. Scissor. Mikassun. Huh? These are all on the pattern of Huh? Okay. Huh? Hakka. Ya hukku. Hakka means to scrap. What is the meaning of hakka? To scrap. Okay? Scrapper. What will you call a scrapper? Mihakkun. You know? You, you know scrapper. Sometimes you use it to scrap something. You know? The, the carpenter will use or many other, uh, you know, people will use it, you know. Now, brothers and sisters, number five is on the pattern of mefa'alatun. Very easy, brother. Kanasa yaknusu. Huh? Okay. What is the instrument? Name of the instrument? Meknasatun. See, kanasa is to sweep. Jadu marna. Okay? To sweep. So, miknasatun is broom. Huh? Sweeper. Huh? Fine. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We always used to laugh at it. Milakatun chamchi. <laughs> Where does it come from? Laika, to lick. Uh, to lick. Laika is to lick. Yala aku. Now, see, mil akatun is on the pattern of mefa alatun. What is it? Mefa alatun. So it became mil akatun. Uh, an instrument for licking. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Uh. Taraka yaturuku. Mit rakatun. What is mit rakatun? Hammer. What is it, sister Naima? Hathoda. Hammer. Satara yasturu. Satara means to draw a line. And what is the instrument for drawing the line? The ruler. So what do you call it? Mistaratun. See how beautiful it is, brother. It's not difficult. But you will write down huh? at home, inshallah, and try to revise it if you get a chance, inshallah. Garafa. Garafa means, brothers and sisters? Asara. Oh, this is very nice. Asara. Ya siru. What is the meaning of asara? To squeeze, to take out juice. Orange. Juice. To squeeze and take out juice, brother. So what will be the juicer? Miyasaratun. Miyasaratun is the instrument for extracting juice. Inshallah. Garafa yagrifu. What is the meaning of garafa? To take food from the pot and put it on the plate. Are you with me, brother and sister? Okay. You don't eat food in the pot. You take the food from the pot to a plate and then eat. So it is garafa yagrifu. So what will be the instrument? Mega rafatun. Mega rafatun. What is mega rafatun in English? Ladle. 
a ladle, a big spoon, you know, ladle. Huh? Kala yakli. Now from here, changes are taking place, brothers and sisters. You have to highlight this so that you can understand and do not get confused, brother. Kala, how many, how many uh, letters are there? Kala, three. three. Uh, what is the root? Kaf, lam, and ya. Now, if you have to make it on the pattern of mif alatun, what will you say? Mik la ya tun. What will you say? Mik la ya tun. Now that ya changes into alif. Okay, that la, ya changes into alif and it becomes mik la tun. Frying pan. An instrument for frying. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Maha yamahu. What is the meaning of maha? To erase. Huh? Now, do it in the same way. Maha. What is the root, brothers and sisters? Meme. Ha. Wow. Huh? Wow. Huh? Now, tell me on the pattern of mif'alatun, what will happen? Mim hawatun. What will you say? Mim hawatun. Huh? Wow will be there. And that will change into mim hatun. Got the idea? So if you can highlight these three, four, so that you know some change took place. Okay? Wow and ya change into alif. Hmm? Okay, brother? Mikvatun, we studied in book one. Now we learn how that verb is coined. Brothers and sisters, that is the magic and beauty of Arabic. You know, in many languages, brothers and sisters, they have to borrow words from foreign languages. Okay? For example, television. There is no word in other languages for television. But in Arabic, the language does not have to borrow from outside. It can create its own word. That is the beauty and magic of Arabic. You don't have to borrow from outside. It has the power and the strength in the language to make any word they want. Because we have the root and we have the patterns. So what is television? Tilfaz. What is it? Tilfaz. Mif'al. Are you with me? Mif'al. Tilfaz. Now we have to understand uh, and go to the dictionary and figure out uh, this verb. Now the point is this, brothers and sisters, when television was invented, Arabic doesn't have to borrow the word television. It can create its own noun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? But unfortunately, uh, the word tilfaz is not very frequently used. It is used, but not very frequently. And television, television becomes, uh, you know, more frequent, you know. But Arabic has the power and the strength to create anything she wants. Any noun, any thing that is invented, she can create. You know, it is so uh, vast and so strong language, brother. You know. So here we have brother and sister. Iron. Everybody says iron, but it starts from mikwat. What is mikwat? Kawayakwi. From kawa yakwi, we got mikwayatun. What did you get? Mikvayatun, and then it became Mikvatun. Brothers and sisters, I thought this was really beautiful. Eh? That Arabic has the power. It's so beautiful, you know. And these things were, these nouns were invented long, long time ago. Okay. 
Bara yabri. What is the meaning of bara? To sharpen. Huh? Pencil sharpener. So mebaratun. Mebrayatun became mebaratun. What is mebaratun, brother? Pencil sharpener. And mebaradun, write down next to it, mebaradun. Huh? What is the meaning of mebaradun? Barada, knife sharpener. Huh? So do not get mixed up. Huh? Mebaratun, and then in the other, there is a dal. Mebaradun is a knife sharpener. Mebaratun is a pencil sharpener. Huh? So there is a difference in spelling and also in the pattern. But the safa, yes, fu. What is the meaning of sa? safa? Saf karna. Filter. To filter out. So, what will be the instrument of filtering? Miss Favatun. What will you call it? Miss Favatun. And it will become Miss Favatun. Huh? Okay. Do write down the original for your information. Huh? When you are writing in your book, do write down the original also. Okay, brother. Ra'a. Huh? Mir. Mir ayatun. What is it? Mir ayatun. Got the idea? Okay. See how many words are there, brothers and sisters? Ra, Hamza, and Ya. Make it into Mif, Alatun. So what will I say? Mir, A, Ya, Tun. And now this Ya changes into Aleph. So it became Mir, Atun. What is the meaning of Mir'atun? Instrument of seeing. Huh? Okay. Interesting, brothers and sisters? Huh? The root is still Ra'a, to see. No, Rakiya, like Nasiya, Khashiya, Rakiya, to climb. What is the meaning of Rakiya? To climb. Huh? Yarka. Nasiya, Yansa, Rakiya, Yarka. Okay, brothers and sisters. Mirkayatun. And it will become Mirkatun. What is the meaning of Mirkatun? Ladder. Ladder. Now we go to the beginning of the lesson. See, I, I take this approach, brothers and sisters, so that now when we go to the main lesson, you have some background. What are we studying? And you know how those nouns are formed. Huh? I find this method is little better. Huh? Inshallah, when the, the noun of instrument will come, your mind will be able to figure out. Inshallah. Huh? Brothers and sisters, there is so much to remember. The book three is very big. So many rules. So if you tend to forget what I say to you, don't worry. But understanding is important. If you understand what went into the lesson, then when you will revise it, everything will come back to you. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? If you understood what is happening in the lesson, okay? In the last lesson, hmm, noun of uh, place and noun of time were on the pattern of, see, I wrote down, maf alun, or maf Elon. Huh? Okay? So these things, inshallah, if you can remember, alhamdulillah, and if you forget, don't worry. When you revise it, you will remember it, inshallah. Okay? And if you don't remember, revise again and again. No, Sister Gulshan, you have to remember, there is no alun here. Okay? It is only mif alun. And mif elun. Now, when you come to the noun of instrument, 
then it is Mif'alun. Brother, just remember Miftah. What do you remember? Miftah. What is Miftah? Huh? Fataha. Huh? Miftah. Mif'al. That's all. And Mif'alun, brothers and sisters, Mif'alun, you take any noun, you take any noun that you like from these, and just remember, the nouns are already there in the dictionary. We just have to understand that on which pattern they were made. So we don't have to go out and make our own. You know, they are already there in the dictionary. But we now know that there are certain patterns on which the noun of instruments are built. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now when we do the main lesson, again the same thing will come back. And we will try to figure out. Okay? Brother Jadu, Miknasatun, Mifalatun, it's very easy. Huh? So just remember one uh, or two of the nouns and you should be okay. I always try to take a shortcut. Take one or two nouns and then remember that and it gives you a clue which pattern it is. Huh? Inshallah. Sister Gulshan, Inshallah, from the main lesson, you will find that it is not difficult. Hisham. Adasu Sabiu. Lesson number seven. Lesson number seven. Hisham. Aturidina Shayyan. No, brother, we are very familiar with these sentences. Ya Hafsa. Aturidina Shay. See? Ya Abdul Samad. Aturidu Shay. Aturidina Shayyan. What is the meaning? Do you want anything? Aturidu Shayyan. Do you want anything? Huh? Minasuki from the market. Ya Umma Ahma Da. Tip, tip toe, brother. If you say Ahmadu or Ahmadi, then we are not strong in our knowledge, you know. Ahmadu, Ahmada, Ahmada. Ahmadu, Ahmada, Ahmada. Dipto. Ummu Ahmada. Naam. Uridu. Migrafatan. What is Migrafatan? Ladle. What is the pattern? Mif Alatun. See, you got to now figure out here. Mif Alatun. Tell me, brother, is it difficult? No, that's why we did the exercise first. So you got some idea what's going on in the lesson. And Mikalatun. Uh, what is Mikalatun? Frying pan. I need ladle, frying pan, Mikalatun, iron, and Mikasan. These are all Mafulun Bihi. Mautufun Allah, Migrafatan. See how clever Dr. Abdurrahim is. These dialogues he creates in a very beautiful way so that we understand in his simple sentences everything that has to be learned in the form of noun of instruments. Alhamdulillah. So brothers and sisters, Migrafatan. What is the verb? Larafa. Uh, to take food from the pot into the plate. Huh? And Mikalatun is actually Mikalayatun. Uh, what is the verb? Kalayakli, to fry. And Mikwatun, Kawayakwi. See, we know it, Alhamdulillah. And then Mikassan, Kassa Yakusu, uh, to cut. Kassa, Mudaf, Sister Nasri, Kassa, uh, Mudaf, uh, like Hajja. Uh, very good. Now, Isham is saying, you know. Ma aksara talaba talabatika ya umma Ahmad. What kind of a verb is this? Ma aksara. No. Felu tahaju. This is felu. How big your demand is. I'm going to go bankrupt. If you ask me all these things to purchase. Uh, your demands are too much. Uh, I'm just joking, huh, brother? 
How many things you want? Huh? Talab is you to demand. Alam ashtari laki hadhi lashya fil amil madi. Translation, brother. Didn't I purchase for you these things last year? Huh? Alhamdulillah, you can translate, huh? Muhammad. Inshallah. See, lam ashtari. Didn't I purchase? Huh? Or he could have said, Ama huh? amashtaraitu. He would have said, Mashtaraitu. But instead of that, we use lam. Using lam is more eloquent, brother. Alam ashtari. Didn't I purchase? Okay, what is lam, brothers and sisters? Harfu, nafiyin, jazmin, wa qalbin. It changes the meaning. What is ashtari? Fialun. Mudariyun, majzumun, bi harfi, harfi illa. MashaAllah. Where is the file? Mustatir. Takdiruhu? Ana. Ana, brother. Ana. Lucky? You know lucky. What is hazihi? MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Beautiful. Mafulun bihi. And what is the alashia'a? Badal. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Sister Nusra, you got it? Hadhi huh? is your mafulun bihi, and al shia'a is your sister Abir Badal. Fil am madi. Al am, that is the year, madi is last year. Fine, brothers. Bala, yes indeed. Bala kinnaha, see? La kinnaha. Brothers and sisters, if there is no shadda there, put shadda there. Huh? I want you to make shadda there. Huh? Because now very frequently we'll come across inna, anna, lakinna in its original form with shadda and also in the lighter form. What did I say? Lighter form. Uh, so when you have original form, then the noun has to come. When it is a, and you cannot use la kinna, inna with jumla failure. Noun has to come. And it has to be mansu. As a ismu inna, ismu la kinna, ismu anna. But if it is a lighter form, then that condition is waived. Now you can bring jumla, failure, and all these things. So we are going to study this. And I'll be pointing it out to you, brothers and sisters. Lakinna ha. Where is this word lakinna? Ha. Mansoor. Huh? Okay. Ha is damirun, muttasilun, mabniun ala sukun, fi mahali, nasbin, ismu lakinna. Huh? That's the way you will describe it. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Well, lakinna ha minat tirazil kadimi. What is Tiraz? Model. They are all model. I want latest model now. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Wakad ja'at fi suki atrizatun. What is atrizatun? Jama of Tiraz. Jama of Tiraz. Brother, ja'at. Verb is ja'a. And ta'u ta'nisi. Sister Madina, tell me where is the file? No. Where is the file, Brother Hassan? Brother Samad? Atri zatun. Atri zatun. That is your file. Eh? See, ta'amar buta there. Are you with me? So you got to watch. Tamar Buta there. Uh, and it is Marfu. So all these things sh we should be watching. Otherwise we will make mistakes. We will say Mustatir and it is not Mustatir. Kadja'at fi sukil ana at rizatun. That is your file. And what is hadithatun? Not. What is the meaning of hadithatun? New. Newer models have come. In the market, 
Wahia, she now here goes to the Atrizatun. Wahia Taba'an. What is the meaning of Taba'an? Of course. What is the meaning of Taba'an? Of course. Now, this is Mafulun Mutlak. We are not going to do it now. Just write down. Of course. Hmm? Ahsanu. They are nicer. Wa Ajwadu. They are better. Okay. So, brothers and sisters, Wow is your Harfu Atfin. Hiya is your Mubtada. And Taba'an is your Mafulun Mutlak. And what is Ahsanu? Khabar. And Again, wow is your harfu atfin and ajabadu matufun ala ahsan. So, what is ajabadu, brother? It is ismu tafdil. Are you with me? What, what, is the, what is the noun? Jayyidun. What is it, brother? Jayyidun. Huh? Write down, huh? Jayyidun. And from there, from there we get Aj Vadu. Huh? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Look at it. Nasitu, no list is bigger. Huh? The longer he will stay, the list will grow. Nasitu and Azukura. I forgot to mention Al Kamah. The wheat. Huh? Well, Adasa. Lentils. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You better get out soon now. Huh? <laughs> Isma. She is now telling him, you know, listen. In Hazal Bakkala. Al Jadid. Okay, inna. Or for talking, one has. Where is this mo inna, brother, uh, brother, uh, uh, Haider Ali? Uh, haza. How will you describe Haza? Is mo ishara, mabniun ala sukun. Fi mahali nasbin, uh, is mo inna, huh? Inshara. Fine. Mansur, yes. Okay, brothers and sisters. Haza. And what is Sister Abir al Bakkala? Badal. Huh? See, we got to watch. Huh? Badal. Okay. Jadida Mutaffifun. What is Mutaffifun? It is not. Huh? Jadid is not. What is Mutaffifun? Khabarin. MashaAllah. Fala tashtari minhu shayyan. Do not buy anything. Huh? From him. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now you see, what I am striving, brothers and sisters, is that you will see any noun, uh, like the, the noun of uh, place, noun of uh, time, the noun of instrument, and any other noun, inshallah, inshallah, you will build within you that knowledge that you will be able to figure out. Okay, brothers and sisters? Mutaffifun. Brother Hassan, what is it? Mutaffifun. Mutaffifun. Sister Madina, what is it? Mutaffifun. Why? It's Mufail. MashaAllah. From where? What is the verb? Taffafa. What is it? Taffafa. What is tafafa? What kind of a verb is this? Form two. Bab tafail. You must say bab also. Huh? Okay. So, see now you, these will come in the Quran. Huh? And you will be, no. You will be able to figure out that this is ismu file. The verb is tafafa. To give less. Huh? To cheat, you know. So, mutaffifun means he gives less. Any ways or he measures. Huh? Are you with me? Is dunya me sab? Fala tashtari. Fa is harfu at. So, la, what kind of a la is this? 
לאנרכיה, אה? אין עוד איזה תשתרי? פיאלון, מודריון, מג'זומון, בי, הזפי, הרפי אללה. פייל, מוסתתר, תגדירו הוא אנתה. שעיין איזה יום אפולון בי. פיין ברן סיסטות. מה זה שם סיינג? וואי לא ליל מוטפי פי. אוקיי, ברן, זה דבר שם בקוראן. אינשאללה, 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 וואי לא ליל מוטפי פי. מה זה כנראה סנטנס זה, ברן? שמלאי שמיע. אבל זה דבר מופתע. וואי לא... תראי, זה כל כך יוניק. Huh? So this is so unique that the, the Quran, but when these ayats were read, people were amazed at the beauty and the construction of the sentences. They were amazed. Normally, Muftada, if it is Nakira, indefinite, comes late. Huh? If it is definite, comes in the beginning, but here... The indefinite noun has come in the beginning and it is your muftada. And where is your khabar? Lil mutaffifina. What is mutaffifina? Jar majru shibu jumla khabar. What is it, sister Sukhaina? Ji? Jama mudhakar salim. So here we are. Mutaffifun, mutaffifuna, and then mutaffifina. So it's so simple, brother. Jama mudhakar salim. Like mudarri suna, mudarri sina. So, mutaffi funa, and then mutaffi fina. Lil mutaffi fina, jar majur shibu jumla khabar. Okay? Woe to those who give less, may affliction strike him. Okay? Wa lakin, no bada, see lakin no shadda. How will you write down lakin? No shadda. Now, this is the lighter form. Now it can be used. The meaning is still same, but. But we do not have to have ism after this. This is the lighter form. Huh? Inshallah, we'll be studying it. Walakin, kaifa rafti dhalika. Translation, brother. How did you know? How did you know? Okay. إِنَّ الْجُبْنَ الَّذِي اِشْتَرَيْتُ مِنْهُ قَبْلَ اَيَّامٍ Put a line there, brothers and sisters. After اَيَّامٍ Now here, brothers and sisters, you can translate in two ways. إِنَّ الْجُبْنَ الَّذِي اِشْتَرَيْتَ Means you purchased. Or you can say, Shtarai tu, I purchased. Both will fit here. Huh? Both will fit. Huh? But because the husband is going for shopping, so most probably he does the grocery, so it will be better to put ta. Shtarai ta. Inna jubna ladhi shtarai ta minhu kabla ayyamin. This is your silatul masul. And brother, what is al-lazi? It is your naat here. It is your naat, huh? for jubna. Okay. Wazantuhu. What is the meaning of wazantuhu? I weighed it. Bimizanina, in our scale. Huh? For wajatuhu, and I found it. Nakisan. So wajada can have two mafulun bihi, brothers and sisters. Hu and nakisan. Okay. So where is the khabar of inna? Jumla failure. Huh? Jumla failure. Are you with me, Sister Sukhaina? Uh, Sister Rahima? Huh? Vazan tu hu. That is your Jumla failure coming as a khabar for? Inna, inshallah. Wa kazalik and likewise, kiltul burra. I measured the wheat. Now, burra is a, is a special prepared wheat, you know. It's not the wheat in the raw form, but it is specially prepared. Huh? Okay. 
فَوَجَدْتُهُ أَيْدًا نَاكِسًا I also found it less, you know. Hisham. سَأَنْسَحُهُ نَسَحَ What is the verb? نَسَحَ نَسِيَتْ نَسَحَ To advise. Write down the verb. نَسَحَ Yan sa hu sa an sahu hu. Who is your mafulun bihi? I will advise him. Wa atlu. What is the meaning of atlu? And I will recite. Okay. What is the word, brother? Tala. Yatlu. Five in your pocket. Yatlu. Tatlu. Tatlu. Atlu, natlu. So atlu. Felun, mudarion, marfun, bidammatin, bukhaddar. Are you with me? Fine, brother and sister. Kaulahu. That is your mafulun bihi. His word. Allah's word, you know, brother and sister. Fala tankusul mikiyala. Well, this is the ayah from Quran. Huh? Do not give less in measurement and in weight. Huh, brother? Nakasa. Nakasa yankusu. To give less, brother. Fala tankusu. What is tankusu? Fialun. Mudariun. Majuzumun. Bi hadhafi. Hadhafi noon, mashallah. Huh? Uh, antum, uh, as we know. Where is the file? Wow, wow. wow. mashallah, mashallah. Okay, brother Hassan. Uh, la 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 ha, la 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 ha, yahdihi. What is it, brother? La la has come. Where is the small la la? Allah. Ha, why ha? Is mansub. Ismu la'alla is always mansub. Huh? Okay, where is the khabar la'alla? What is yahdi? Jumla failure. How will you describe yahdi? Failun, mudariun, marfun, biddammatil, mukaddara. And where is the file? Mustatir. Taqdiruhu huwa. Who is huwa? Allah. And what is he doing here? Mafulun bi. So here, it is a hope. La Allah hope Allah will. I hope Allah will guide him. You know, find it. Aturidu anta shayyan ya Ahmad. Ahmad says, "Nam uridu mistaratan." Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So Mikyal and Mizan came, we forgot to mention that they are all uh, nouns of instrument. Ismu Ala. Okay, brother? And they are both on the version of huh? <coughs> Bif Alun. Bif Alun. Fine. Brother? Mistaratun. Satara. So it is the pattern of Mif'alatun. And Mim'hatun. So what is Mim'hatun? Same thing. Mim'hawatun. And Mib'ratun. Mib'rayatun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? But these are all Maful'un bihi. Uridu Mistaratan. Wa Mim'hatan. Wa Mib'ratan. These are all Maful'un bihi. So now the last sentence. Look at the beauty. Uh, Dr. Abdurrahim has to use the noun, you know. Hati miftah sayarati. What is miftah? It's mu'ala. What is the pattern? Mif'alu. What is the verb? Fatahi yaftahu. All these things, inshallah, you will write down. Min gurfati. Ana lada babil. Miss Adi, the last word has to be there also. Huh? Miss Adi. What is Miss Ad, brother? What is, uh, no, elevator. 
What is the what is the pattern? Sister Gulshan, what is the pattern? Saida Yas Adu. So by practice, by writing and by reading, all these things will click in your mind, inshallah. Uh, brothers and sisters. What is Lada? Zarf. Uh, Inda. Uh? Ana is your Mubtada. And Lada, Zarf, Shibu Jumla, Khabar. Uh? Bab, Mudafili. Wahua Mudaf and Masadi, Mudafili. Alhamdulillah, we, we finished the lesson, brother. Now, because we have just done the lesson, you may not memorize everything. You may not have memorized everything. Brothers and sisters, so can I leave these questions for you to do it at home? Huh? Maza talabat ummu ahmada min as What will you say? Talabat. Huh? Talabat. Migrafatan. Mikwatan. And all these things, you know. Inshallah. Maza talaba ahmadu. Talaba. Mistaratan. Mimhatan. Mibarata. Fine. Now, sister. Sister. Madina. You tell me. What is the word? Number third. What shall I say? Shall I say a you? Shall I say a ye? Shall I say a ya? What shall I say? Why? Mafulun bihi mashallah. Mashallah. Excellent, Sister Madina. May Allah bless you with more knowledge. See, brothers and sisters, we got to see. Huh? What is it? Yuridu hishamun ayya ayatin. Like that. But ayya has to come in the front. So, ayya, you cannot say ayyu. It will be wrong. Huh? This is, brothers and sisters, the knowledge that comes with the study of the Madina books. And you will be able to figure out that ayya is mafulun bihi for yuridu. It has come in the beginning. Huh? Fine, brother. Okay, brothers and sisters. You, you, you know which ayah he wants to say. Huh? Fine. And Limaza? Lianna al bakala al jadida mutafifun. Okay, fine. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Very good. Now we go to page number, number six, brother. 67. Huh? Aijin. Asma alati fimayati waskur wazana kulli wahidin minha. Brother, ready? An Abi Hurairata radiallahu anhu anna rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kala al mu'minu miraatul mu'min. Are you with me? Al mu'minu miraatul mu'min. Believer is the mirror of the other moment. Huh? Okay. Brother, what is moment? Muftida. Fine, brother. More than that? Ismu file. Mashaila. Ismu file. What is the verb? Amana yu'minu. Amana yu'minu. Form four. Huh? Bab ifal, amana yu'minu, and then mu'min. Huh? Very good. What is mir'atu, brothers? It is the instrument uh, of seeing. Okay. What is the wazan? Mif alatun. Mif alatun. Mif alatun. What is the verb? Ra. See, Sister Gulshan. Now we saw mir'atun. Now we Try to dissect it. Huh? And we found that Mira'atun is on the pattern of Mifa'alatun from the verb Ra'a Yara. Huh? Alhamdulillah. 
Fine. And then, Mir'atu is your khabar. Wa huwa mudaf, and mu'min is mudaf ilayhi. Fine. Fi hadithin, Nazala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Mir'katan, min al mimbar. See, we have mimbar. So, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was standing on the mimbar, and then he got down. Huh? So, he got down, brothers and sisters, Mir'katan, the steps. Are you with me? Mirkatan is the steps or ladder. You know, fine. <clears throat> Brother, what is the wazan? Bifalatun. What is the verb? Rakiya. Rakiya yarka. Huh? Fine, brother and sister. Fi hadith. You know, this is very interesting. Ta'afan nabiyu. Sal alayhi salatu wa salam fil hajjatil vidai. What is this, brother? How will you translate this? Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam performed the tawaf huh? in his last farewell hajj ala huh? ba'ir on a camel while he was riding a camel. Okay? Yastalimu. Yastalimu means to receive. What is it, Yastalimu? To receive. Huh? Now if you have gone to Kaaba, you know how we do the tawaf, and then either we touch it, but it's too much crowd, we, from far we just say like this, and continue our tawaf. Huh? So, Rukna. What is Rukna? That is the black stone, that the corner. Huh? Rukna means the corner. Huh? That is the black stone, brother. Bil mehjani. What is mehjani, brother? This is a walking stick. And it is curved. Huh? That also becomes an instrument with a hook. You know, Abir, how is the walking stick has a hook? So, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam performed the tawaf on a camel. And when he reached the black stone, he touched it with his stick. stick and continue. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, Mehjana is coming from Hajana. Is it coming from Hajana? Okay, brother. Yastalimu from eight, eight, eight. Istalama. Huh? Istalama. What is the root? Salima. Huh? Are you with me, brother? Istalama means to receive. Huh? Write it down, brother. And mehjan means walking stick. Muttafakun alayhi. Both Bukhari and uh, Muslim have described it, brother. And Abdullah ibn Abbasin radiallahu anhuma ka'ala naha. What is the meaning of naha? Forbid. Forbid. Huh? Naha. Rasulullah. Where is the file? Rasulu. Only Rasulu. Mudah mudahfili. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam forbid. And kulli zi nabin minas sibai. Brother, you have to understand here. Sibai are the uh, wild animals. Huh? They are wild animals. Okay? Predators. They kill other animals and eat. Okay, wild animals. And they have, uh, they have special teeth. Canine teeth. You know? So, Naba is your canine teeth. Huh? Brother? And Kulli Zi, on every one of them, Zi means possessing. What are they possessing? Naba. Huh? Canine teeth. From the wild animals. So you cannot eat any of those wild animals. Like lion or wolf or tiger. You cannot eat them. Okay? Wa an kulli di mikhlabin. Mikhlabin means claws. So any bird which has claws, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said not to eat them. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So we cannot 
eats eagles, you know, and other wild birds who have claws, you know. We cannot eat them. Minat tayyiri, from the birds. Tayyir is jama. What is the singular? Tayyirun. Tayyirun. Write down Tayyirun. Huh? Hmm? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So what is of our interest here? Mikhlavun. Huh? Mikhlavun. Means to clutch. Huh? So here it is clause, you know. I would like to read the following also, huh, brother? As much as you can understand. Al Bair, which is camel. Min al Ibli, bi manzalatil insan. But the Ibli, when you say Ibl, it means all camels, male and female, all of them. And you see, we have insan and then anas. Are you with me? Nas means everybody. Man, woman, everybody. Huh? Okay. So, Abir min al ibli bi manzalati in the place of, in the position of al insan min al nas. Yutliku ala jamali wa nakati. You know, it refers to, it is called for camels and she camels. He camels and she camels. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Try to understand as much. You do not have to dwell on this. Huh? Inshallah, later on you will be able to make it. Istalama al Hajar al Aswada. What is the meaning of Istalama al Hajar al Aswada? Ay, Lamasahu. He touched it. Lamasahu bil Yadi. Okay? Fine, brother. Yastalimu, huh? Ruknu. Al Muradu bihi huna Hajrul Aswad. Here, Rukun means corner, but here it means Hajrul Aswad. An Nabu. Canine tooth. Oh, okay, sorry. Al Mih Janu. Khashabatun. What is Khashabatun? A piece of wood. What is khashabatun? Piece of wood. Fi tarfiha, at the end of it, evi jajin, there is a cow. Like walking stick. A piece of wood, piece of stick, at the end, there is a cow. Hajana shay, jazbahu, bil mahjani. Means, if you say, Hajana Shaya, means he grasped that thing, okay, with Mahjan. Are you with me? With a stick. That stick has got a loop at the end. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Try to understand as much as you can, brother. Annabu. What is Annabu? Canine tooth. Okay, fine. Asinnu bi janibi rubaiya. Now whether the teeth, okay, the canine, in front there are some teeth and then there are canine tooth. Okay, brother. Jamu, what is jama? Anyabun or nuyubun. Whether this is for our information, Dr. Abdurim has given us more uh, details about the thing. As sabu, write down, brother. As it can also be written like this, brother. Both will be correct. Huh? This is the singular. What is it? Wild animal. Uh, singular. What is plural? Saba. Uh, okay. Kullun ma lahu. Every one of them, brother. Naba, they have canine teeth. Kal, Asad, lion. Vajyab, wolf. And Namir, tiger. Uh, 
Jama Sabaun Fine brother Mikhlabun Brother this is the claws What is Mikhlab? Is the claw Huwa littairi It is for the birds Was sabui For the wild animal Kazafri lilinsan Like the fingernails To human beings uh, as we have fingernails, the birds have claws. Uh, and some of the animals also have claws. That's it, brother. Atairu, birds. What is this? That is jama. What is mufrat? Tairu. Alhamdulillah. Okay, brother and sister. Istakhrij. مَا فِي الدَّرْسِ مِنْ أَسْمَاءِ الْعَالَاتِ وَاسْكُرْ وَزَنَا كُلِّ وَاحِدٍ مِنْهَا وَالْفَيْلُ الَّذِي شْتُكَّ مِنْهُ Got the idea, brothers and sisters? اِسْتَخْرَجْ مَا فِي الدَّرْسِ مِنْ أَسْمَاءِ الْعَالَاتِ وَاذْكُرْ وَزَنَا كُلِّ وَاحِدٍ مِنْهَا وَالْفَيْلُ الَّذِي شْتُكَّ مِنْهُ Fine, brothers and sisters. We already did. We did it, huh? If you have time, you can write it, brother. Bayjin. What is the meaning of bayyana? You bayinu. Demonstrate. Huh? Show. Bayyana means to show. Huh? Now wa kulli min al mushtikatil atiyati. Demonstrate every kind of derivatives from the following. From the following derivatives. This is very interesting. Now this combines all our knowledge. I would like you to do this diligently. Huh? This is very important. Number one. Sister Hafsa. Mara'iyun. What is this Mara'iyun? Ismu maf'ul. Masha'Allah. Masha'Allah. May Allah increase your knowledge in all of us. Maf'ul. Ismu maf'ul. Huh? You will write down Ismu maf'ul. And if you are not sure, make sure that you understand. Huh? It is on maf'ulun, the pattern is maf'ulun, and it is from ra'a, uh, ra'a, okay. Mar'uyun became mar'iyun, fine. Okay, then Sister Abir, mar'a. No, this is ismu matan. The place from where something is seen. Are you with me? No? Mar'a is... Okay, what is the, what is the pattern, brothers and sisters? Maf'alun. Maf'alun. Huh? Okay? We did it. Huh? And then, uh, sister Sukhaina, Mir'atun. Ismu ala. What is the pattern, sister? Mif'alatun. Because you saw their tamar ruta, so you can... Easily say, Mif'alatun. Very good, MashaAllah. Sister Maimuna, Mikyalun. What is Mikyalun? Miftahun. It's a small Mif'alun. It is an instrument. Okay? And Makilun. It's Mafun. Are you with me? It is Ismu. Mafulun kala yakilu. Very good, brother. Okay, sister Nasrin, you got it very easy. Fatihun. 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 Ism five. What is it? Ism five. But I cannot let you go so easy. Huh? Miftahun. Ismuala. Give me the pattern. Mif'alun, mashallah. No, you can do one more. Maftuhun. Sister Nasri. Maftuhun. Ismu maftuhun. Isn't it fun, brother? See how your knowledge has expanded. That you could figure out all these things with ease, you know. But that is the beauty of the language. If we work hard, we will master it and we will enjoy it, inshallah. Very good, sister. Mainaz, Maulidun. Ismu Makan. Birthplace, Maulidun. What is the pattern? What is the pattern? Mafailun. From Walada 
Yalidun, Mawlidun, huh? are you with me? And Mawludun, Ismu Marfoul, huh? okay? The person who is born, Mawlud. Huh? Finish, brother? Hati Jama. Talibatun is the demand. Huh? Talibatun is the demand. How much you are asking, you know? And what will be? Jama Talibatun. But you see, it can also be Talabatun. Talibatun and Talabatun both will be correct. Huh? So, Talibatun or Talabatun, both will be correct. Okay, brothers and sisters. Uh, sister uh, Musrat Tirazun. Atrizatun. Models, huh? Fine. Oh, 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 Madina, you got so easy. Mutaffifun. Make it a jama. Mutaffifun. Huh? Alhamdulillah. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Mikhlabun. Can you see the picture? The claws. Huh? Mikhlabun. Okay, what is the version? Mif'alun. Huh? And then, brother? Mihjanun. What is the meaning of Mihjanun? Walking stick. Huh? That Mikhlabun comes from Khalaba Yakhlubu to clutch, to seize with claws. What is it? To seize with claws or pounce on. Okay, brothers and sisters. And Hajana Yahjunu, you know, brother uh, Khalaba is to seize with claws or to pounce, you know, the birds, you know, how they pounce on the prey. You know, or to clutch. And then, brother, hajana is to bend, to curve, to hook. Okay? So, al mehjanu is your walking stick. Inshallah, you understood? Huh? Not too difficult? Inshallah, you'll revise it and you'll get stronger. Huh? I think we should take a break now. And then we'll start a new lesson. That new lesson is Alwa Puri, brother. It's very easy. Very, very easy. Inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters, we are back from our break. We had some nice uh, snacks, alhamdulillah. May Allah bless uh, Sister Sumaya and Sister Memuna for treating us with nice uh, samosas and other goodies. Jazakumallahu. May Allah bless both of you. <coughs> this lesson, brother, what is the title of this lesson? Definite noun and indefinite noun. Adarsu, adarsu, thaminu. Definite noun and indefinite. What's, what's going on here? I thought I know definite indefinite. Again definite indefinite? We did in book one. So what's going on here? Are we going to study again definite indefinite now? Don't we know? We know it. But we are going to study in greater detail now. Huh? Everything that has to be learned about definite and indefinite now, we will learn. Huh? Inshallah. I wrote down on the board, brothers and sisters, but that is soon. Is it definite, indefinite? Indefinite. Nakira. Huh? Nakira. Huh? And al mudarisu marifa. Huh? Kitabun al kitabu. I know it. Alhamdulillah. Muhammadun, is it definite? Yes. Why is it definite? It's a proper name. Huh? Is Fatima too definite? Yes. Very good. Okay, we read the key, brothers. And key, Dr. Sahib is explaining very beautifully. In this lesson, we learn the following. The marifa and nakira. The definite al-marifa and indefinite al-nakira. Read this passage. Read it very carefully, brother. A man came to me and said that he was hungry. He was a stranger. I gave the man some money. I started the sentence 
a man came. And then now I am saying, I gave the man some money. Because now he is no longer a stranger. I know for whom I am talking about. Okay, brothers and sisters. Here a man is indefinite because he is a unknown to you. And to your listener. But the man is definite because he has already been mentioned. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? In Arabic, the following seven categories of nouns are definite. This is very, very important. Huh? Very important. Pronouns like ana, anta, and huwa. They are all definite. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? If you remember, in book one, I used to say, all pronouns are definite. All pronouns are definite. Proper names like Ahmad, Al-Hindu, Makkatu, these are also definite. Huh? Demonstrative pronouns, Hada, Hadhi, Tilka, Zalika, Ulaika, Haulai, these are all definite. Huh? Relative pronouns like Alladhi, Alladhina, Allati, and here we are introduced to two new ones, Ma and Man. These are also these are also relative pronouns. Ma al mausula we will say. Right? The noun with article al, we know. Al makes the noun definite. A noun with a definite noun as its mudaf ilayhi. Remember? If the mudaf ilayhi is definite, then the mudaf is definite. Kitabu hamidin. Kitabuhu, remember Kitabuhu, Kitabul Mudarris, okay? Kitabu Haza, hmm? and Kitabul Lazi, these are all definite, huh? okay? Because they are all coming as a Mudaf to a Mudaf Ilehi, which is definite. Hmm? A noun which has an indefinite noun as its mudaf ilayhi, is indefinite. Huh? Kitabu talibin. Talibin. What is talibin? Indefinite. Now here the kitab is also indefinite. Huh? A student's book. Baitu mudarisin. A teacher's house. So this is, I think we have already studied it and we know it. If the mudaf ilayhi is indefinite, then the mudaf is indefinite. If the mudaf ilayhi is definite, then the mudaf is definite. Inshallah. Munada specified by nida. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Munada specified by nida. Ya rajulu. O man. Ya waladu, oh boy. Note that the rajalun and waladun are indefinite. But they have become definite because they are the ones meant by the caller. Hmm? If however an indefinite noun is not specified by the caller, it remains indefinite even after being munada. As a blind man saying, Ya rajulan, khuz. Biyadi. Now here, brothers and sisters, we have to understand a little bit. When you use harfu nida, ya, the monada becomes definite. But in the case of a blind man, he doesn't see. Okay? And at the corner of the street, he shouts. Then he is not specifying his call to any particular person. He's just saying generally, then at that time, the monada is indefinite. And here, it will come in the form of mansub. Ya rajulan. No, rajulan is here indefinite. Inshallah, you will remember this. O oh man, hold my hand. It is obvious that he does not mean any particular person. Note that in ya rajulu, the monada is mabni. And has you ending. While in Ya Rajulan, it is Mansub, huh? 
it is Mansur. Okay. A Nakira becomes a Marifa by being Munada as we have seen. Waladun became Ya Waladu. It became Marifa. Whereas a Marifa is not affected by Nida. Bilalun is definite. Are you with me? And when you say Ya Bilalun, it was already definite. Okay, that's all we have to see by that. Now, Taal, this is something I will explain to you inshallah in greater detail. Hopefully tomorrow, inshallah. Now, we come to the main lesson. Now you will be underlying or highlighting everything definite and indefinite. How about the lesson? We want to know now. Is it definite? Is it indefinite? Hmm. Al-Mushtari. What is Al-Mushtari? Definite. How is it definite? By Alif Lam. Huh? Huh? This Al is called al tarifi I love definiteness. Huh? Okay? It will come in the lesson, inshallah, and you will have to write it down. Mushtari. What is Mushtari? Ishtara, Yashtari. And what is Mushtari? Ismu Fail. What is it? Ismu Fail. Okay. Brother? Take out Al. What will you do now, Sister Rahima? Mushtarin. Mushtarin. Mankus. Mushtarin. You bring Alif Lam and it become, the Ya became visible. Is it clear, brother? Brother Hassan? Mushtarin. Huh? And it became Al Mushtari. Okay. What is the meaning of Al Mushtari? The buyer, the purchaser. Okay. Al Adaika Akalamun. What is it, brothers and sisters? Al Adaika Akalamun. Do you have pens? Okay. What kind of a sentence is this? Chumla Ismiya. Where is Muftada? Akram. Where is our khabar? Ladai only. Zarf, Shibu Jumla khabar, and then ka, Munafili. Okay. But the, what is Aklamun? Indefinite. Are you with me? And what is ka? Definite. Definite. Huh? Because it is Damir. These are all definite. Huh? Very good, brother and sister. So you will be, you know, uh, Watching each and every word, and wherever there is a definite and indefinite, you will try to figure out. So this is a very beautiful lesson, brothers and sisters, and will give you a lot of insight, uh, further insight into definite and indefinite. Sahibul Mahali. What is the Sahibul Mahali? Owner of the store. Huh? Sahibul Mahali. Al Mahali definite? Yes. Why? Al. Is Sahibu definite? Yes. It is. We will say Mudafun ila Marifa. What will you say? Mudafun ila Marifa. Write down, brother. Mudafun ila. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? But these things are all coming in the lesson. And also you can double check with the Hallo Tamani and, and, and write it down properly. Because the question will come, figure out everything 
which is definite and indefinite in the lesson. Hmm? And then if it is definite, you will have to say why. Okay? Is sahibu definite? Yes. Why? Because it is mudafun ila marifa. Got the idea? That's the way you will write it, brother. Is al mushtari definite? Because it is marifatun bi bi al bi al al tarifi. Write down, brothers and sisters. Huh? Marifatun bi al. Why al mushtari is definite? Uh, because of the al tarifi. Uh, marifatun, it is marifa because of bi al tarifi. Uh, Insha'Allah. Sahibul mahli. Naam ladaina or is na definite? Uh, why? It's a, it's a it's a damir. All damirs are definite. Ladaina aklamu hebrin. Is it aklamu definite? No, because mudafile is indefinite. What is aklamu hebrin? Ink pen. What is it? Ink. Huh? aklamun again is indefinite. Jafatun. What is the meaning of jafatun? Ball pen. The ink which is not flowing is dry. Fine. Al Mushtari, the purchaser. Atini Zaka. Now, this is a new verb. Inshallah, we want to learn. Are you with me? I think we have done it. It's a very, very nice verb. Brother? Ata. Give. Give me something. So there will be two mafool. Right? What will be the mudariya? Are you with me? Are you with me, brother and sister? Fine. Sister Abir, your team, make Amar. What shall I do? MashaAllah. I have to chop here and chop here and bring back Hamadul Kata. Hmm? Fellow Amarin Mabniun Allah Hadfi Harfi Illa. Fail Mustatir Takadiruhu Anta. Ati. Very common word word in Arabic language. Brother? Do you remember this, brother? Wa duha wa layli idha saja ma wadda aka rabbuka wa ma kala wa la la akhiratu khairun laka min al ula wa la sawfa yuhtika rabbuka fatarda Okay, brother and sisters. Where is the verb? Yuhti. Where is the file? Where is the file? Rabbuka. Rabbuka. See, you can figure out. Huh? Rabbu is your file. Wahuwa huh? muda and mudafili. Huh? And then, brother, we have to have a mafulun bihi. Where is mafulun bihi? Ka. And who is ka? Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah is addressing 
our beloved Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Fasaufa, saufa yu'tika rabbuka fatarda. Very soon, your Lord will grant you, give you something is understood to be the second mafulun bihi, which is not mentioned. Fatarda, and you will become happy. What is the madhi of tarda? Radiya. Radiya, like nasiya, khashiya. Radiya, tarda. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, here is, brothers and sisters, atini. Okay, brother and sister, I got ati. There is a noon here. And then, ya mutakallam. So, what is this noon doing here? No, no, we huh? okay. And what is this Ya Mutakallam? Mafulun Bihi. Is it definite? Yes. All pronouns are definite. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Yushiru ila Kalamin. So, Kalamin. Brothers and sisters, Kalamin is your indefinite. Are you with me? Huh? So, indefinite, we can easily catch it. Huh? Yushiru. Tell me, sister Sukhaina, what is this verb? Yushiru. What is Madi? Ashara. Huh? Form four. Huh? Ashara. Huh? Ashara. Yushiru. Like Ajaba, Yujibu. Akama. Yukimu. What is the meaning of Ashara? To point out. Huh? Ishara it comes from here. Huh? So here, brothers and sisters, Ishara is your if'alun. Ijabatun. Isharatun. Huh? So Ishara is your master. Okay? Now, Yushiru ila kalamin. He points out to a pen. Sahibul Ma'ala. This, what is Haza? Definite. Okay. La, Allazi Faukahu. The one over above it. Huh? So, brothers and sisters, Allazi, is it definite? Yes. Faukahu, is who definite? Yes, it's definite. Sahibul Mahal. Haza, Naam. Wa atini. Kalama Rasasin. What is Kalama Rasasin? Rasasin is lead. Pencil. Pencil. Huh? Fine. Haza Kalamu Rasasin. So Haza is definite. Kalamu is your khabar. Or mudaf and mudaf ilahi. Hmm? Al Mushtari. Atini Daftaran. Is Daftaran definite, indefinite? Indefinite. We know that. Uh, indefinite. Give me a notebook. Sahibul Mahal. Ad Dafatiru. Is Dafatiru definite? Yes. Yeah. Why? Marifatun bi ali tarifi. Ad Dafatiru. Anwaun muhtalifatun. There are many kinds. Okay. Ayya now in Turidu. Ayya now in Turidu. Which kind do you want? Sister uh, Madina, did you see Ayya? It is Mansu because of Turidu. Got the idea? Make a, make a point of it, you know, so that you will never get confused. If it is Ayya, you will be able to figure out that it has to be Ayya. Huh? Al Mushtari. Uridu Daftaran Za. What is za here? Naat. Wa huwa mudahaf. Wa rakin. Musattirin. These are all. This is mudahaf ilahi. Then musattirin is your naat. Musattarin is ismu maful. Musattarin is your naat. Brothers and sisters, see daftaran. Indefinite. So za is also indefinite. Because mudafili is indefinite. Oh, fine. Ala gilafi he. Well, he is definite, so gilafi is 
Definite. Are you with me? Yeah. Huh? Brother Muhammad, he is definite. So Galafi, he is definite. Ala Galafi, what is the meaning of Ala Galafi? On its cover. Kharitatul Alami. The map of the world. Al Islamigi. So Al Alimi, Al Islamigi. Are you with me? Kharitatul Alami. Is Kharitatul definite? Yes. yes. Why? Because it is Mudafun ila Marifa. Fine, brother. And what is the Al Islamigi? Naat. Fine, brother. Sahibul Mahal. Aturidu shayyan akhara. Do you need anything else? Akhara is mansu, and it is diptot, brother. Akharu, akhara, akhara. Huh? Okay, fine. Al mushtari la. Sahibul mal. Yuna dibnahu. Yuna dibnahu. Are you with me, brother? He calls his son. So, is uh, Ibn definite? Yes. Why? Who is it? Damir is definite. Okay, brother. Yunadi. What is Yunadi? Nada. Form? Form 3. Mashallah. Mashallah. This is a nice form, huh, brother? Nada. Yunadi. Huh? Yunadi. Fehlun, Madarion, Marfoon, Walamatu Rafaihi, Damatul Mukhatta. Okay. File, Mustafir, Takadiru, Hua. Fine. Ya Waladu, is Waladu definite? Yes. yes. Why? Yeah. Because of? Harfunida. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Da, what is Da? Fehl Amar. Are you with me? Put. Hadihi la Shia. Is Hazihi definite? Yes. yes. What is Hazihi? Mafulun bihi. Huh? Mafulun bihi. For the. And what is Ashia? Badal, mashallah. Fikisin in a bag. Definite, indefinite? Indefinite. Indefinite. Lil mushtari. To the, to the buyer. Atil mizun anta. Atil Mizun Anta, are you a student? Are you a student? Al Mushtari, Nam. Sahabul Mahal, Masmuka, Masmuka, is Ka definite? Yes. Then is this some definite? Yes. Because, why? Mudafun ila Marifa. Mudafun ila Marifa. Al Mushtari, is me Mubtada Mudaf Mudafili. Is this me definite? Yes, why? Mudafili is definite. Malikun. My name is Malik. Is Malikun definite? Yes. It's a proper name. Like Muhammadun. Bilalun Khalidun. Are you with me? So Malikun is definite because it is a Proper noun. Okay? Fine. Sahibul Mahal. Fi ayhi madrasatin tadrusu. Translation. In which school you study? Malik. Fi madrasati umra thanaviyati. Okay, brother? Is madrasati definite? Yes. 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 Why it is definite? Because Umar is definite. Are you with me? Umar is definite. Huh? Very good. And brother, what is the Thanaviyati? Not for what? Madrasa. See, it has got Al. But Madrasa doesn't have Al. But it is definite. So Naat has to be Definite. Are you with me? See how deep we are now thinking? We did not think like this before. But this is very interesting. I'm sure you will find it easy. I'm sure you will find it easy. 
you will read this. Okay? And inshallah, you will see that you are understanding. The point is this, brothers and sisters. Pronouns are definite. Ismu sharas are definite. Ismu mausula is definite. A noun with al is definite. Proper nouns are definite, like the name of a city, a country, they are definite. And then, then mudaf becomes definite if mudaf ilayhi is definite. Okay? And plus, if you put al, it becomes definite. And if you put harfunida, it becomes definite. So, tell me one thing, brother and sister. Is this something new we are learning? No. We knew it. We are just revising it. What are we doing? We are revising, but revising how? How much? Revision. Thorough revision. <laughs> Thorough revision. Eh? So, inshallah, this is a very beautiful lesson, brother. Inshallah, it will increase your knowledge. Inshallah. Fine, brothers and sisters. Yusallimu lahu waladu ashya fikisin. Just a lesson before we said, Yusallimu ala. What was the meaning of Yusallimu ala? To say, Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Yusallimu lahu to give. Huh? To give. Huh? So, brother, where is the file? Al waladu. Huh? Al waladu is the file. Huh? And ashya'a is mafulun bi. Translation, brother. The boy gives him things in a, in a bag. Fikisin. Are you with me? Very good, brother. Wa yadfa'u malikun. What is the meaning of this? Dafa yatfa is to pay. And then Malik pays the price of it. Is ha definite? Is ha definite? Yeah. Is kimat definite? Yes. Okay, fine. Is Malik definite? Yes. ruju, And he goes out. Sahib Mahal. Sahibul Mahal. Ya Maliku. Is Maliku definite? It was already definite. So Ya would not make any difference to it. Huh? Taal. What is the meaning of Taal? Come. Hadihi. Is it definite? Yes. Lawhatun. Jamilatun. So this is a beautiful plaque. Huh? You understand? Plague, huh? For plague. You know, some picture. Are you with me, brother? Huh? Hazihi. Hazihi. Lawhatun jamilatun. Tahvi. What is tahvi? What is madi? Hawa Yahwi contains Ayatin wa Ahadisa. They are both indefinite. Hiya Hadiyatun. This is a gift laka to you. Ka is definite? Yes, it is definite. Hadiyatun definite? No. Ayatin definite? No. Fine, brother. Malik, shukran, yakrau, ma indakum, whatever is with you, yanfadu, it will get exhausted. Huh? It will get, nafida yanfadu, write down brother, nafida yanfadu, huh? ma indakum, yanfadu, whatever is with you, it will it will be exhausted. It will run out. Rama in the lahi. Whatever with Allah, it will remain forever. Bakin. Mankus. Is it definite? No. It's indefinite. 
Eh? Bakin. Eh? It is a sum file. What is the verb? Sister Sukaina? Bakiya. Bakiya yabka. To remain. Bakin. Okay, brothers and sisters. Wama in the lahi bakin. Wama in the kum yan fadu. Okay. Wama in the lahi bakin. Beautiful words, brothers and sisters. The last, I will do it, brothers and sisters. This is hadith. Huh? Rawahu Shaykhani. Al Muslimu. What is Al Muslimu? Definite. Wahuwa Muftada. Al Muslimu Muftada. Okay. And where is our khabar? Man is your khabar. Muslim is the one that is your khabar. And what is man? Is it definite? Yes. It is man mausula. What is it? Man mausula. Huh? Muslim is the one. Huh? Salim al muslimuna min lisanihi wa yadihi. Okay, brother. Salima has come. Means to be secure. To be safe. Where is the file for Salima? Muslimuna. Huh? Muslimuna is the file. The Muslims. Jama are safe from his tongue and from his hand. Brother, this is very beautiful hadith. Huh? Who's Muslim, brother? If the others are not safe from your tongue and your hand, you are not a Muslim, brother. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Muslim is the one. The other Muslims, all Muslims are safe from his tongue and from his hand. Got the idea? Inshallah. So, brother and sister, Al Muslimu Muftida. Where is the khabar? Man. Huh? Man is your khabar. And Salima Muslimuna, what is all this thing? Silatul Masul. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Huh? You got it, huh, brother and sister. Beautiful. Brothers and sisters, now we come to the Allah. Huh? I have some time, I'll explain this. What is this, brothers and sisters? Ta'ala. What is it? Abir, tell me what, what kind of a, na, a verb is this? Form. Form six. What is it, brother? Form. See? Ta with ala. Three plus three. Was it, what is it? Three plus three. Huh? Ala. Okay. Okay, and then Ta'ala. Okay. Form six. Because of the Nakis, being a Nakis, you got confused. Fine, brothers and sisters. Ta'ala. Fairun Madin. Mabniun ala. Fatahatil. Mukhattara. Fine. Make it mudariya. Remember, brothers and sisters? Yata'ala. In five, form five, and form six, what is it all? Fata, fata, fata. And there are no kasras. Fata, fata, fata. So, brothers and sisters, ta'ala. And then, yata'ala. Ya ta a la. Felun mudariun marfun bidamatil mukaddara. Can we conjugate this a little bit? Ready? Ta a la. Ta a la ya. And then ta a law. And then ta a lat. And then ta a lata. And then ta a layna. Like that. Ya ta a la. Ready? Ya ta a layani. Ya ta a launa. Launa. Got to 
a quien se va a decir, y ansa, y ansa yani, y ansa I want you not to forget the forget. Are you with me? I want you not to forget the verb forget. Okay? Okay? Ta'al. Yata'ala, yata'ala yani, then yata'alavna. And tata'ala, tata'ala yani, and then yata'alayna. But brother, if you know this much, then that is good enough. Okay? Now we go to the key, brother. Huh? We go to the key. Huh? No, but before I go, let's make Amar quickly. Uh, how will you make an Amar, Padar Hassan? Where shall I chop? And here. What is left? Are you with me? How will I define? Fail Amarin. Mabniun ala hadfi harfi illa. Ta'ala. But you will never say ta'ala. You will always say ta'al. What will you say? You know, when you are pronouncing, you will give us sukun. Ta'al. Come. Okay, brother. Make it into mournness. What is the verb of mournness? Tata a lay. What is it? Are you with me? Did I write correctly? Anta. Tata ala antuma. Tata a layani, antum, tata a lavna, anti, tata a layna. Fine, make it amar now. Padasan, chop and chop. Tata a lay. What is it? Tata a lay. So if you have to give amar to a sister, huh? Fellow Amrin Mabnun Allah Hadhafi Noon. Hadhafi Noon. Are you with me? You only drop the Noon. Where is the file? Yeah. yeah. Okay, now we say Antum. Tata A Launa. Brother Hassan, one more Fellow Amr. Huh? Chop here. And chop here. What is left, another? The a low. Are you with me? The a low. Fellow Amarin, Mabniun Allah, Hadafi, Noon. Where is the file? Wow, is the file. Are you with me? Now, quickly we just go to the key and then we can finish it. I did not want to do it before because it would have become too much. Now we have done the lesson. We'll do this in chart. Page 33, number 7. Taal. Come. This verb is used only in the Amar. Huh? Highlight it. Huh? In the Madi and the Mudarya, the verb Ja'a Yaji'u is used. Or Ata Yati is used. This verb is not used in Madi Mudariya with the same meaning. Ja'a Yaji'u or Ata Yati is used. Okay. Ja'ani Bilalun Amsi. Where is the file of Ja'a Bilalun? What is Ni doing here? Nunu Vikaya. Ya Mutakalam? Bafulun Bi. Bilal came to me yesterday. Or you can say, La ta'atini gadan. La ta'atini gadan. What kind of a la is this? La nahiya. Huh? Brothers and sisters, this is la nahiya. Okay? La ta'ati is like this. But then it gets, because la nahiya will make it majizum. Felun mudarion majzumun bi hazafi harfi illa. File mustatir takdiruhu anta. Okay, and then nunu vikaya. Do not come to me 
Are you with me? What is it? Ta ti ni. Mafulun bihi nunu vikaya. Are you with me? La ta ti ni. Gadan. Tomorrow. Don't come to me tomorrow. I'm busy. Okay? It's not mentioned, but it's there. Okay? Don't come to me tomorrow. Are you with me, brother and sister? So, atayati ja'a yajiyu is used. Okay? Now, here is ta'ala. It's not that to the other pronouns of the second person. Ta'alaw ya ikhwanu. Did you see ta'alaw? I like it, brother. Huh? Because this is where we just made the practice. Huh? Ta'alaw. What is ta'alaw? Felu amrin mabniyun ala adhfinun. Where is the file? Wow, mashallah. Okay. And then ta'alay ya khatija. Come ya khatija. Ta'alay. Felu amrin mabniyun ala adhfinun. Where is the file? Yeah, very good. And ta'a layna. Huh? Ta'a layna. This is antunna. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Antunna. It's mabni. Huh? Ta'a layna. Ya khawatu. Then ta'a laya. Are you with me? If you say ta'a layani, you drop the noon and you chop the ta, it becomes ta'alaya. Are you with me? Shall I write it? No, no. You will be able to figure out. I would like you to write down the six amars. And then tomorrow again I will write it for you on the board. Huh? I will write down the six forms of amar. Huh? And see if you can describe it. Huh? It's easy. Huh? It's easy. Okay, brothers and sisters. The word ta'ala is however used in the Mahdi and the Mudariya, in the sense of, he went up, he rose, he was exalted. Highlight, he was exalted. You know why? Well, this is all the time we use. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is the meaning of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Ta'ala means exalted. Huh? Subhanahu, inshallah, very soon I will explain to you. And brother, if you understand the meaning of subhanahu, you are going to be amazed. Most of us, we do not know. We say subhanahu, subhanahu. We don't understand, brother. Inshallah, I'll explain to you. And it will surprise you, brother. I was totally surprised and was very happy to learn the actual meaning of subhana. Okay, brother? So he, the Amal of Ta'ala originally meant come up. What is the meaning of Ta'al? To come up. It actually meant come up, ascend. Then it came to mean just come. So only Ta'ala is used for Amal. Come. But not in any other way. Otherwise you will use Ja'a Yaji'u or Ata Ya'ati. Huh? Inshallah. You got the idea brothers and sisters? I will do it again, ta'ala, tomorrow. I will write it down so that you have got a good understanding. I will ask you to conjugate, inshallah. Huh? Brothers and sisters. Inshallah, it was interesting. Huh? This lesson is not hard, brother. If you read it, you will understand everything. Try to read the whole lesson. Then we can move forward to new lesson, inshallah, tomorrow. Rabbana. آتینا فی الدنیا حسنتا و فی الاخرتی حسنتا و بکینا عذاب النار ربنا حب لنا من ازواجینا و زوریاتینا قررت آیون و جعلنا للمتقین اماما ربنا تقبل منا انکا انتا سمیو العلیم و تب علینا انکا انتا تواب الرحیم سبحان ربک رب العزت اما یسفون و سلامون علی المرسلین الحمد لله رب